Hi, this is Andrew from Gamel. We are so excited to be bringing you Creative Studio version 7.1. This new version includes several of the feature requests that we've received from our customers, and today I'm going to walk you through how to install this on your computer. So I'm here at my machine, and I'm going to double click on the CS 7.0 icon. You can see right here that I'm on version 7.04. That's the current version that we're all using. Now, my computer is on the internet all the time and so it's going to notice that there's a new download available but before you click anything on this window I want you to do two other things first on the bottom right of the screen you can see where it says set origin that's your point of origin you do this every time you start up the software please take care of this first so move your machine to the upper right corner of the table and click the OK button with your keypad or with your mouse. Now in my system I have an unsaved project because I didn't save my project before I closed down the system and so it's very important to clear this window before doing the update. Now I would recommend that you use your mouse and not the keypad. Whether you choose yes or no you're probably going to need to hit the button twice. So I'm going to say no with the mouse and you'll notice the window is still there so I'm going to click no again and then it's going to go away. Very important to clear those things before you do the software update. You'll see my screen is pretty much normal. I've got my machine keypad over here on the right and on the left I can see all of my patterns. Right here it shows that on the website version 7.1 is available there's two ways to do this. You can do the download and install or the download. I'm going to go ahead and choose the download option so that I can control the install process myself. So I'm going to click on this button now, download. And as you can see it opens up for the progress bar and right now it's at 0%. Let's fast forward the video and get to the end. Okay, now that our download is complete, we're going to go ahead and click the Install button. Creative Studio is going to close automatically. And we're going to wait for a moment until this next button lights up. We're going to click on that, accept the terms of the license agreement, and click on Next. Now this right here, when this uh, window comes up that says some files that need to be updated are currently in use, that's because Creative Studio is running right now. I'm going to click on this button here, do not close applications, and then at the end of the install process I'll go ahead and reboot the computer. It says that right here. Okay, now we know that it's uh, finished successfully, and I'm going to hit the Finish button. And the reminder comes up to let me know that I do need to restart my computer. I'm not going to need to do that yet. I'll go ahead and select the controller that I'm using uh, from the list. Most of our computers in the last 10 years are going to be a mod F or G. I'm going to click no on this installer window because I'm going to restart it manually. Alright, so this is my first boot, boot up in 7.1. I'll set my point of origin and it is going to want to calibrate the stitcher. So go ahead and follow the instructions on the screen and do the calibration. <laughs> 